Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today guys is show you how you can easily create low poly artwork in Adobe Illustrator. Low poly artwork is a really cool type of digital illustration that is very popular at the moment and is seen across many forms of graphic design and artwork. It's very simple. Uh, process for you to follow depending on how complicated and how detailed your image is it could take uh, longer than a simpler basic image but obviously the the saying rome wasn't built in a day um relates to graphic design sometimes beautiful work that takes a little bit of a while but as you can see i have a low poly apple and what i want to do is show you the process of how to create a low poly artwork now if i just move across over here like so what I'm going to do is use our pen tool because as you'll notice, all these are just a collection of triangles. If I move that across there, like so, that's just a, that's just a triangle shape. That's a triangle shape. And what they are, they're all joined up. So basically the main sort of concept of low poly artwork, it's a collection of mainly triangles formed up together to create an illustration. Be conscious as well of your coloring. As you can see on the right-hand side here, we have a darker color green to the left-hand side to sort of imply that the source, the light source is coming from the left-hand side. So be very conscious of that. But technically speaking, how would you build the low poly artwork? Like I said earlier, we'll be using our pen tool. The keyboard shortcut for your pen tool is just the letter P. And let's say for instance, now I come through and I go click, 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 Click. Now what I'm going to do is just come to our fill and stroke option here and just swap that around just to show that I have this shape here. Now there are two ways to build uh, the wireframe of your um, low poly artwork. What I'm going to do is show you both. First one is, let's say for instance I create my second triangle, so I'm going to go click, 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 click. Click, click. Now I know what you're thinking, hold on Jack, these should be joined up. That's where the magic comes in. What we can do in Illustrator is join anchor points to anchor points. What I mean is I can take this anchor point, join it up with that one, that one, and that one. How do we do that? Use your lasso tool here. Select all of those anchor points. And if you now go right click, you have this option here of average. So if you press average, we would like to be joining both. So keep the both uh, option highlighted there. And then we press OK. And now you can see they're joined. The benefit of this now is as well is because if, if you wanted to move these or manipulate where the anchor points have joined, it's very simple. Just get your direct selection tool and click and move them to a point where you're happy with the replacement of them. So let's continue now and join up these um, other anchors. So yeah, again, I'm just going to use my lasso tool, select those two there, right click, average. Okay. Let's take these here, right click, average. Okay. Right click, average. Okay. Yeah, again, I'm not happy with the placement of those anchor points there. So I'm just going to jump on my direct selection tool. Let's move that to a point where I'm actually happy. And then it's very easy for you. You can take this first triangle. If you press I for the eyedropper tool or it's situated there and just pick up a color. V is the selection is the shortcut for the selection tool. So I'm going to press V, select my next triangle, press I and pick up the next color. V for my selection tool, I, V and I. Okay, so that's one way to create the low poly um, mesh. What we want to do now is probably have a more simpler way. So I'm just going to take them with my selection tool and select them and just press back face to remove. So yeah, again, I'm going to use my, uh, my pen tool, create my first triangle. Let's just swap these around. So the next point I want to create will be away from my current selected shape. So if I come here and I go click, if you see when I just hover to that anchor point there, it will just magnetize to it. So I go click, 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 start away 
click, 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 start away, click, 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 click. So you'd be wanting to use both of these elements and these both of these methods to create your low poly mesh. But obviously, the more you do it, you'll find your own way and your preference. Click, 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 click. And then I can start to color. So yet again, I'm going to press V for my selection tool. Keep that selected and press I. Pick up a color. V. I. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create low poly artwork with inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now, what you can do is you can create low poly for fruits, portraits, shapes, landscapes, many forms of, of imagery that you could do it across. My best advice would be is to find the image that you want to work with, come onto Illustrator uh, and lock it. Very simple for you just to go to select the element that you want to lock. For instance, this object here. Object lock selection or the keyboard shortcut for Mac users is command two or, con or for Windows control two. And then just trace over it, creating the low poly mesh um, using the pen tool. That would be the best way for you to do it to create really cool pieces of low poly artwork. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.